Hey guys, welcome to Learn and Enjoy Kitchen. I'm Azadeh and today we're gonna make a seasonal stew with apple and sour cherries. But before we start, subscribe our channel and hit the bell to get informed of our latest videos as soon as they are uploaded. The ingredients Chicken drumsticks, 2 pieces Sour cherries without seed, 200 grams Yellow apple, 1 large Onion, 1 medium Saffron, as you need Sugar, 3 tablespoons Salt, black pepper and turmeric, as you need This stew is usually served with rice, so before you start cooking, wash the rice with cold water. Then let it soak in water and some salt. Next, peel a large onion, chop it finely and sauté with some oil. To prepare saffron, put some ground saffron in a small bowl and add some cold water or ice to it. Leave it aside to get the best color of it. Meanwhile, peel the apple, take out the seeds and slice it. When the color of onion changes, add some salt, black pepper and turmeric. Mix well and add chicken drumsticks to the onion. Sauté for a while, then add some water and let them cook well. Put a pan on the stove, add a little oil and fry both sides of apple slices on medium heat. When you turn the apple slices, add 1 tablespoon sugar and fry the other side as well. Now take the apples out of the pan and put them aside. It's time to fry sour cherries. You can use them either fresh or frozen. Just take the seeds out. Add them to the same pan and sauté on high heat. After a short while, add some sugar to sour cherries and wait till the juice dries up. They're ready now. Put them aside. To cook the rice you've soaked before, you should add water so that it covers the rice for half inch. Add some salt and 2 tablespoons oil, put the lid and let it cook. Chicken is cooked now. Add apple slices that you have fried before and simmer for a while. We should add sour cherries 
when the stew is almost ready. Finally, add some brewed saffron and let the stew simmer for a very short time. Rice is cooked. The stew is also ready to serve. To serve rice, you can make some rice with brewed saffron and add some pistachio slices to garnish the dish. It's ready to serve. Bon appétit! I hope you cook it and enjoy it with your family. Don't forget to follow us on other social networks and recommend our channel to your friends. Till another recipe, goodbye!